no. Here's where everyone's stuff gets collected. <sighs> Those poor people. Petra, did you see this? That's the portal hallway. Yeah, it looks like the White Pumpkin's been there, too. Let's see here. Legend of the World portals, basic portal theory, portals and you. Wow, they're all about portals. That's pretty obsessive. chest definitely seems important. Okay, kitty kitty, can you scoot out of the way, please? I need to get in the chest. No, bad kitty. Oh, stupid cats. I need something to distract it if I'm going to get that chest open. Cobwebs. Should be able to score some string from those. Typical brewing stand. Must be where the white pumpkin made the tipped arrows that killed Torque Dog. Didn't Lizzie say that she taught Cassie and Stacy how to make those too? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she did. So that's the potion part, but what about the arrows? I'm guessing this chest should have. Oh, yep, we've got sticks. Anything else? Oh, wow. Ender pearls. Sweet. That must be how the white pumpkin got down that elevator shaft. I saw one in the pond that'll be perfect. Ah! Wow, nice catch, Jesse. Thanks. Bet that cat'll love this. Okay, here, kitty, get the fishy. There you go, jeez. Ah, oh, many cats, so many cats. Ah, oh, cats give me the creeps. No offense, Stampy. None taken. I'm not really a cat. Guess I can finally get in here now. It's full of portraits. Loads of them. Oh, I don't like that. I guess he already had all the X'd out ones ready to go. Yep, besides Petra, we've got Dan, Stacy, Stampy, Lucas, Ivor, and... Oh, hey, there's me. But what does it all mean? The cats, the crossed-out portraits? Yeah, the portraits. There was one person who didn't have a crossed-out portrait. Someone who's a known cat person. Okay. So who did it? Yes, you figured it out? The White Pumpkin is Cassie Rose. She's the murderer. Oh, man. You're totally right. I don't believe it. Uh, not only is she the White Pumpkin, but she owns way, way too many cats. Well, come on, you guys. It's time to prove Lucas's innocence and catch us a White Pumpkin.
I'll go round everyone up. What's going on? Yeah, you were gone an awful long time. What's going on here? Quickly, where's Cassie Rose? Cassie? Why do you ask? Yeah, what's up? No sign of Cassie, but... Huh? Are you gonna tell them, or should I just do it? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Jesse, go on. Is this going where I think this is going? Go on, Cassie, tell them. Tell us what, Cass? It sounds like Jesse's trying to make you think that I'm the White Pumpkin. <laughs> That's impossible. No way. No way. Yeah, Jesse, I'm afraid you're gonna have to do better than that. Look at the facts. We caught Lucas with that pumpkin head right after poor Lizzie got taken out. I think you're just lying to protect him. Cassie's making a lot of sense right now. Do you have any evidence to back you up? There's something that's been bothering me for a while now. Something that happened in the Great Hall shortly after Tork Dog was hit with that trap. What's that? Go on, Jesse. You've got this. Cassie said she recognized us even before we saw the portraits. Uh, actually, that was Lizzie. Oh, shoot, I guess I misremembered that. Well, no matter. I haven't even gotten to the really juicy stuff yet. That came next. When we were down in the basement, we found some very interesting items. Items for the White Pumpkin's evening festivities. And there was one very significant detail. What was this evidence? Shh! I think Jesse's about to tell everyone. The White Pumpkin had portraits all ready to go, pre-exed out, one for each of us, except for Cassie. <gasps> Ooh, that's good. Okay, I think they're on the fence, but you can do this. Bring it home, okay? But it was the last piece of evidence, dear friends, that helped me really figure out who we were dealing with here. Cats. Dozens of calico cats. And they all look just like Winslow. An amusing story, Jesse. But if you saw all these supposed cats just like mine, then what color is Winslow? It shouldn't be a problem if you saw a hundred. Cats? Really? Shh. Winslow is black, white, and orange. Cassie, is this all true? This whole thing has been about your crazy scheme to get a portal key, hasn't it? Killing whoever gets in your way. How very clever, Jesse. Well, I guess that's it then. You caught me. I am the murderer. I just don't believe this. I know. I was shocked too. I'm relieved, but also surprised. But what did any of us ever do to you? Directly? Nothing. But you idiots had the one thing that I most desperately needed. I've been stuck in this stupid world with its stupid two moons for years! Trapped with a portal right under my nose, but no key to open it. That is, until I finally heard that this world's portal key had been found. I knew it was one of you, so I tried my best to earn your friendship, figure out who had it. Cassie, how could you? We shared cookies together. Cookies! Well, that sounds really hard. Of course, I can't really empathize because, see, I have a portal key. You really wanted one of these, huh? What, you little... We need to do something with you, Cassie Rose. I vote we build an obsidian prison and surround it with love. No, 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 I won't let you do that. I can't. No! This is your fault! You did this to me! Ah! I'll fight all of you! Each and every one of you! Oh! Another trap! We need to dig her out! After everyone she's hurt, she can dig herself out. She did terrible things, but no one deserves this! Yeah! Yeah! Wait! Look! I can't believe it. She's gone. What a way to go. Yeah, I guess in all the chaos, she forgot where her own traps were. Wow. Poor Cassie. She did some terrible things, but no one deserves to be trapped away from home like that. 
If only she had just asked us for help, we could have avoided this whole thing. Hey, it's morning. I guess, I guess that's it then. Yeah, we're free. And we're alive. Let's not waste it standing around. There could still be traps everywhere in here. I've never been so happy to smell rotting flesh. Yeah, that is... Yikes, that is pretty rank. I feel bad thinking about the people who aren't here to smell it. Talk Dog, Sparkles, Lizzie, and Cassie, I guess. Uh, that's a good point. It is really sad that they're gone, but I think they'd be happy that you guys made it out okay. I think you're right. Lucky for us, that portal brought you here. Speaking of which, I have no idea how to begin finding our exit portal. Well, Cassie said it was right under her nose, right? That's true. Maybe it's nearby. Hey, what do you know? There it is. A fabulous coincidence! So, I guess this is goodbye, huh? Yeah. Just let us know if you ever accidentally find yourselves in our world. <laughs> That's really nice of you, but... I don't think we can really portal hop without a portal key. Oh, uh, well, I think Stampy's got you covered there. You stole the portal key from me? It was just meant to be a prank, a harmless prank, and I'm so sorry, so very, very sorry. Yeah, come on, it's Stampy. You know he would never actually try to hurt anyone. Leave Stampy alone, you guys. Like he said, it was just a prank. Uh, yeah, some prank. Look how badly it went. After all this craziness, I might be done chasing flints and steels and portals anyway. Well, I'm not great at goodbyes, so I'm actually just gonna start walking home. Thanks for everything. Yeah, me too. Travel safe, you guys. Bye! What a strange, strange bunch of individuals. Cassie What's-Her-Name was talking about being trapped here, from another world. What if she was one of the old builders? Portal keys, other worlds... It all adds up, I guess. Man, that's too bad if it's true, seeing as she turned out to be, you know, the white pumpkin and all. Yes. Hadn't thought about that. I just can't believe that we finally met someone who might be an old builder, and she's a pumpkin-wearing serial killer. Typical. Well, here we are. Would you care to do the honors, Jesse? Huh? That's weird. Winslow? That's... I thought... Oh! I can't see a thing. Well, that's ominous. Do you hear that? Endermites! And there it is, Jesse! You're trapped! Stuck! <laughs> Just like I've been in this rotten world! Oh, please. I've gotten out of way worse than this, Cassie. Huh. I admire your bravado. I don't know how much time you've spent with Endermites, but the poor things are eternally hungry. I would throw the flint and steel up here before I drop you down to find out how sharp their teeth are. Oh, guys, I dropped the flint and steel when we fell. I have no idea where it went. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock, Jesse. What's it gonna be? The flint and steel? Or your lives? Just give me the flint and steel and I'll let you go free. I don't believe her. Okay, you're right, you win. We'll give you the flint and steel, but let us out first. <laughs> no, I'm not falling for that one. Nope, this is taking too long. I'll just let the Endermites eat you and fish it out of your inventory. 
It'll be the best fishing trip ever! <gasps> Winslow, my pet, activate the trap! Want something done right, Captain? Prepare for your death! <laughs> Guys! Jesse! Come on, Winslow! <laughs> Stupid door? Ugh, it's no use! Without a lever, our button will never get these iron doors open! Just hold on, guys, I'm gonna get up to the control panel! Oh, that is disorienting. Uh, just started going faster! Booby trapped her booby traps? That is so paranoid. What? You thought you could do it just like that? Trying to get leverage? Give me my key, Jesse. Guys, no! No! Hey, Jesse! Holy crap, you're all alive, thank goodness. Yeah, for now. Don't worry, I found a lever. Throw it down. Okay, get ready. Yeah. Got it. Okay, you guys get to safety. I need to find that flint and steel. You're not a fast learner, are you? I grow tired of this game, Jesse. You didn't have it either! Oh no, it's mine! Nope. No! <laughs> no, we are going home. No! No! no. You can't do this! I'm waiting too long! It's mine! Cassie, I won't let you have it! You should give that back, Cassie. No, I'm afraid not. I'll give you one thing. You are incredibly tenacious! <laughs> That's never act, Jesse. It stays on fire forever! Winslow, that's the last of the obstacles. We're finally going home! <laughs> Come on, Winslow! Winslow! Winslow, come on! Oh, I love it. You know I love you, but you look very tired sometimes. Hey, cats suck! What did you say? You heard me, cats suck. Pigs are way cooler. Playing it, but I'm bored with it. Ah! What's going? Ah, I've got it. Excellent. I did it. You're all dying now. Uh, no, thank you. Got it. No! proud of yourself. Look at me! Stuck again! Out of Enderpearls! 
And that's where she wanted us to end up. Trapped. In my own trap. <laughs> of course. Of course. I'm really sorry it had to be this way, Cassie. I wish it could have gone differently. Me too. Wait. At least don't leave me here all alone. Give me my cat. My dear sweet Winslow. He's my best... My only friend. Please. Here, kitty. Here, you pain in the butt, kitty. Ah, there you are, Winslow. Who loves you? Come to master. Oh, there you are. There you are. You and me are together forever, just like it was always meant to be. Trapped together. Forever. Just me and my little Winslow. Wow, so she kept the real portal hidden down here all this time. Unless this one is a trap, too. I don't know if even she'd be that paranoid. Only one way to find out. Good sign so far. Yeah. No trick floors or arrows or anything. Okay, sure. But who's going first? We're a team. We all go together. Ready? One, two, two three. three. Adventure! All right, what's going on, dudes? It's me, Captain Sparkles next time on Minecraft Story Mode. After defeating the dreaded White Pumpkin, will Jesse and the others find their way back to the portal hallway? And will it lead them home? Or instead, are they destined for more perilous adventures? Well, I guess I'll never know because I got pounded into the ground by a ton of sand. I guess you saw that, right? I'm in the middle of an amazing speech, and boom, I've suddenly become part of the floor. I mean, dude, you saw that, right? How much worse can it get? First they choose not to invite me on their adventure, and the next thing I know, I'm part of the floor. Anyway, one thing's for certain, even without me, this is gonna be an amazing adventure. <laughs>